to resurrect on Axuna Moon, Imhotep and his priests broke into her crypt and stole her body. They raced deep into the desert, taking an Axuna Moon's corpse to Hamunaftra, city of the dead, ancient burial site for the sons of pharaohs, and resting place for the wealth of Egypt. For his love, Imhotep dared the god's anger by going deep into the city, where he took the Black Book of the Dead from its holy resting place. Anaxuna Moon's soul had been sent to the dark underworld, her vital organs removed and placed in five sacred canopic jars. Sunamun's soul had come back from the dead. But Pharaoh's bodyguards had followed him attack and stopped him before the ritual could be completed. Imhotep's priests were condemned to be mummified alive. For Imhotep, he was condemned to endure the Hongdai, the worst of all ancient curses, one so horrible it had never before been bestowed. was to remain sealed inside his sarcophagus, the undead for all of eternity. The Magi would never allow him to be released, for he would arise a walking disease, a plague upon mankind, an unholy flesh-eater with the strength of ages, power over the sands, and the glory of invincibility.